Welcome back to the channel. Today is Tuesday, the 20th of September 2011, which means we're going to be taking a look at the technically still summer, but almost fall, uh, desk tour here. This has been a very popular request from a lot of people. I apologize it's taken me so long to get to this. Uh, point being, there's usually somebody here. I can't be moving around so much with different angles in here. Uh, and another thing, I'm in Ohio, so 90% of our days are overcast, which makes for terrible lighting. Today is not ideal, but it is better than any other day that we've had uh, recently. So we're just going to go through uh, kind of my office here, a couple things I work with, and uh, we'll uh, see what you say. I guess we'll start off just desktop right here. This is my desk, one I work on. I've had this for like three, four years. I don't know where it came from. Can't really say I recommend it, but it does do the job I need it to do. Over there, you can see there's this light spot. That's where the magic mouse goes, and it's really just worn through it. But hey, you know what? It's wood. It stays here. It does what I need it to do. This is my machine uh, of choice right now. It's a 15-inch 2011 MacBook Pro. It's the 2.2 gigahertz quad i7, 8 gigs of RAM, and a 128 gig SSD paired with a 500 gig 7200 RPM drive in the optical bay, which does mean I have no DVD drive, but I have another 13-inch MacBook Pro I can use in the house if I were to need that. Uh, well, I have the display open before we get to some things behind it. I might as well talk about the monitor over here. I've done a review of this in the past and the unboxing. It's probably still on my old channel. Uh, but this is the Asus VH232H 16x9. It's a 23-inch monitor, 1080p. It's got speakers that are garbage built in. No webcam. But uh, honestly, since I got the, the newer MacBook Pro that has the higher resolution display, I have not been using uh, this display nearly as much. I feel that the MacBook Pro screen is obviously not as high resolution, but I think it's better quality. So really, I just put the MacBook Pro right here in the middle of the desk, pull the chair up, and uh, and do the work on that. If I'm going to sit down for a couple hours, then sure, I'll plug in the monitor via my, I think it's uh, mini display to DVI, and uh, I'll do the work on that. But more often than not, I just use the MacBook Pro screen at this point. Okay, I've got that closed now. We can see what's behind it. I'm still using the Blue Snowball microphone. I really considered getting a Yeti not too long ago, but I know a couple people that have them. Um, I think the actual microphone itself is amazing, but the stand they put it on is absolute garbage. If you go up and you were to touch something along, on the long, along the desk, if I can talk right, just like that, it sounds like there's bombs going off in the room. It's unacceptably bad. Um, no offense to the people that have them, but talking with you guys on Skype with them is like working next to a battlefield. It's better when you use your internal microphone. So I've stuck with the Snowball. It's got great audio quality. It's got these rubber feet over here on the stand, and I've uh, never really had any problems with that. It's USB. It was only 100 bucks or something like that compared to the 150 or 200 for the Yeti, whatever that is, but uh, I've been very happy with that. Over to the right, uh, since I did my last desk tour, I think this is a new hard drive. This is a Lacey Quadra, I believe it's the D2 model. This is two terabytes. It's got two uh, Firewire 400, 800s, rather. It's got one Firewire 400, eSATA, USB 2. I don't think I'm missing anything there, along with, of course, power in the back. And that's been a really great drive. I've got well over 1.6 terabytes left. I use it every day, back up every single video I make since December 1st, 2009. So everything's on there. Uh, on either side of the monitor, if I can move uh, the thing over here, the, what is this? This is a camera, right? Yeah, I'm making a video. You can see both the speakers. I've had these for a long time, too, and they've been excellent speakers. The Bose uh, Companion 2 Series 2 speakers. They're just um, 3.5 millimeter. I really looked at the Companion 3s. They're a lot more money. They do sound a little bit better, but um, they're smaller. And then there's a sub, which I would have to put under the desk. And quite honestly, the, the base output of these is more than enough for the kind of music I listen to. I actually have iTunes on bass reducers sometimes as uh, some of the music can get a little too bassy for my tastes. Uh, looking down there you can see my um, Apple wireless mouse, uh, the magic mouse here, the wireless keyboard and the magic trackpad. I use this every day even if I don't use the big monitor. use the keyboard pretty often then I do use this um, more than I used to. I really do like it. I don't think it's a replacement for a mouse. It's not an alternative, but it is nice to have an addition if you want to be able to do something with, uh, well, I think Lion was really responsible for this. With the multi-touch, you've just got so much surface area here uh, compared to the Magic Mouse, which does support multi-touch gestures, but just nowhere nearly as well. Over there, I've got a lamp. I don't use it a whole lot. It's a good light, I guess. It's a stiffle, but, um, you know, if I'm just sitting in here watching a movie or something, why burn up electricity? Headphones I use about every day. 
uh, editing vlogs, editing this video in 20 minutes, I'll be using these. I've had these for about two years. These are the Bose um, Quiet Comfort 15s. And of course, they're cords right there. And I really like those. Um, the noise cancellation is great. It, they could have better bass performance, I'll be honest there. But um, it's really crisp, really clean sounding uh, headphones that are actually pretty comfortable with all the leather padding and stuff up here. So I do recommend those. They're a little pricey, but they're really good, especially on an airplane. I took a trip out west in the spring and used those on all four flights, and uh, they were just great. Back here, I've got this uh, NJB automotive thing. This We had a Ferrari serviced in, uh, what is that, Dublin, Ohio? I don't know. It's down there by Columbus. They gave us this. I keep an extra key to the car in here, uh, some pens, some flash drives, whatever. If I need to you know, sign my million-dollar check, I'll do that. Uh, also over here is the iPad 2 with a black leather smart cover. I've got the boxing and review on my channel. But uh, I use this a lot more often now than I used to with school and stuff. It's really easy and light, and uh, I'm looking forward to the iPad 3 next year. To the left of that is my phone. I usually just throw it somewhere here on the desk. It's an iPhone 4. If you don't know that I have an iPhone, you've probably never seen one of my videos. Had this since launch day. It's just black, 32 gigs. And I'm really looking forward to the iPhone 5, which we should see next month. So this is pretty much uh, what I keep on top of the desk during the day. I don't use uh, a whole lot else. Uh, if I'm going to do any vlogging, I'll use the Flip Ultra HD, which is recording this video right now, so I can't show you. But... Um, I do like it. It's so easy to use. A little USB thing just flips out on the side. Plug it into the Mac. Import the footage to Final Cut or whatever you're going to use. And it uh, makes it really simple. But I am planning on upgrading sometime in the future to a Canon or something uh, with a wider angle lens and just a better camera for making these videos with. I sent out a tweet a while ago. Um, if you guys wanted me to do what I did last time and just take a quick peep in the drawers and whatever garbage I had in there. And for some reason you said yes. So... I'm going to do it, but uh, this top drawer is really just full of crap, if I'm honest. Tons of wires, cables. I've got the Tumi um, battery pack in here. This is great. It's really just a big battery. Plug in a USB cord, charge an iPhone or an iPod or something like that on the go. Got a waterproof camera. This is a Kodak ZM2, I believe. Check out at the KRVR on YouTube for his excellent review of that product. Got a USB hub here. It's a really cheap Targus one I got for like nine bucks at Walmart. Other than that, you name it, I've got it. I mean, we got Ethernet cords, sync cables in here, USB extensions, just random stuff, a lot of which came from my old PC days, just cables that, you know, you may need to back stuff up on a hard drive, USB, and garbage like that. Moving down one, uh, I don't really use a whole lot of the stuff in here very often. I've got an extra pair of headphones. I should mention the headphones that I use uh, when I'm not using the quiet comforts would be these, the Bose in-ear um, mobile set. They're pretty good. They're not the IE2s. Those are the newer ones. I'm going to have to upgrade soon because i got a channel that goes out sometimes. I have to squeeze the wire, but I've had these for a long time. Also in here, I have a backup hard drive, not the one I use primarily. I use that Lacey 2 terabyte, but this is a 500 gig Western Digital Passport that I use. Uh, really small, just to have a little cable in there with it too, uh, to back stuff up on. Uh, maybe a time machine backup of an older machine or something I just want to keep on, handy, on hand. Uh, I also have the documentation for all three MacBook Pros that are in my family as well as um, navigation disks, actually the old disks for my car. This is from <clears throat> January of 2000. Pretty old. Those are the original ones that came with the uh, M5. Um, I've also got some pencils in there and uh, a lot of microfiber cloths, as well as an extension cord if I need to make something longer. The bottom drawer houses a old HP Pavilion DV6809, and it does still work-ish, so that just kind of lives in there. I don't use it for anything. Below that, I have a lot of files. The yellow one is all the documentation on the car and stuff like that. I have all the books and stuff for software or hardware that I've purchased. And then uh, some CD, I don't know what those things down there, CD magazines maybe, uh, of old music CDs that I used to listen to before everything went to iTunes. So don't really use that drawer too much. On the right side, this is my project drawer. Anything I've got going on around the house, technology or not, I keep it in here. Uh, recently, I've been using these pads on the bottom of furniture or something like that. I've got glue in here. I've been working on the car. As you can tell, we've got stuff everywhere. Boxes for the Oakleys. Here's the knife I used to unbox stuff. Stickers from the rotors I just put on the car. Power slot. I've got a map of, of the Bahamas in here. I, I don't know. It's, it's just living there. Don't ask me. I also have uh, some zip ties and a iPad 1 dock. I never did bother getting the iPad 2 dock. As well as the OWC tools to... Uh, 
to do the data doubler. And these are definitely the nicest tools I have ever used when taking the back off a of MacBook Pro. RAM, hard drive upgrades, it's got a case remover tool in here, torque screws, uh, really nice tools. So I keep those in here, use them all the time. Uh, batteries, you know, just the basic stuff here in my project drawer. Down one from there is just software. I've got Windows 7 Pro, I've got Vista in here, XP, uh, all kinds of stuff, just random CDs like Here's a, a CD I had for the car before I got the iPhone to play in there. Uh, honestly, I don't use these drawers a whole lot. You know, I've got some CD cases in here, more random software. It looks like Windows Vista Springboard. What the hell is that? I've never even used it. But I've got it in there for some reason. And the drawer below that is just garbage. I'm not even going to open it. Not really garbage, but just random stuff. I got flashlights in there, more cables, old laptop cases, stuff that I should really go through and clean out that I'm actually too lazy to do. To the left of the whole setup, I got my shoes in here. I don't want to keep them with everybody else's shoes. They get thrown around. Nobody has any respect. So those are just some shoes I wear all the time. Then in here, I actually have all of the boxes and stuff for technology that I have. Uh, not as much the Apple boxes. You'll see those in a moment. But I uh, like the microphone, the hard drive, the speakers, stuff like that if I ever want to sell it. It's always nice to have the original box and documents, which I keep in that chest. This may have grown a little bit since the last time you saw it, but this is the infamous Apple table. Uh, almost every Apple box that I have is here with the exception of real small ones like headphone boxes, little dock adapters, stuff like that. I've got the 15-inch MacBook Pro, both 13s, the battery charger is hiding back there. iPad 2, iPhone 4, iPod Touch 4G, Apple TV, uh, iLife, what is that, iWork and MobileMe, Airport Extreme, Trackpad, and then two old iPods. This is actually my first iPod here. This is a what is this? Third generation nano, 8 gig in black. It does still work. I've forgotten the password on it though, so I can't really get into it. And then the battery's dead now, of course. But if you know how to get past the password, let me know. And then my dad found this in a parking lot and gave it to me. It's a non-working, broken iPod video or classic or something. It says 30 gigs on the back. So I don't know. I just kind of put it on the table. Part of Apple's history, I guess. Might as well keep it. Most of you know that I always have sunglasses on, so I just keep the ones that I wear. Uh, most often here, the Oakley gas can smalls that uh, I don't wear as much, but they're over there on the right, along with their case in the back. And then on the left, the Oakley Radar, uh, I think they're paths on the left with the polarized lenses, carbon fiber frames, and the case behind that. I believe I did do a review of this. You can see the carbon fiber frame looks pretty good. I got new lenses on this not too long ago. Really like these. I know they're expensive, but they are phenomenal glasses. A couple things I have on the wall in here. I actually got this for Christmas. This is the BMW pre-war years. I've got a whole bunch of cars on here dating back to a 1929 uh, DA1. That's kind of cool. All the way down here to 1939 BMW 327. So that's interesting to look at. There is a post-war one I'd like to get as well, but uh, I have not been able to find it online yet. On this little table opposite the uh, Apple stuff over there, I've got some Ferrari stuff. I, I love cars if you haven't figured this out and watches. Watch collections upstairs, but these are the Ferrari Panerai uh, watches, which I don't have one, but I do have uh, this. If you'd like to see the review of that, it's somewhere in my vlogs. Just search for it, but uh, those are pretty cool. I've also got some information on the Ferrari 16M, and then below that is, well, whatever that one is. It's just got more ads in it. Kind of got a coffee table going on over here with BMW information. I got the Maserati down there. I believe the Maserati one actually came from Maserati of San Diego. BMW performance and pre-owned vehicles as well as a very extensive Panerai booklet here, which is really interesting. It's got pretty much every model, the specs and prices and movement information, and a uh, really comprehensive guide to buying a nice watch like that. And thanks to some of my friends down there below the table, I've got... Uh, the Beamer magazines, uh, got a couple of those. The BMW magazines back when my car was new and a couple since then as well as, well, honestly more advertising of uh, their makes and models. So there's my copy table. So that's about it. This is where stuff gets did. I don't spend a whole lot of time in here. I'd, I'd like to keep it that way. I hate coming in and sitting inside and just you know, hammer down on a computer for a few hours. It's, I'd much rather be outside at the pool or something like that. But when stuff does need to get done and in the winter, I will spend more time in here, uh, <clears throat> you know, making videos and stuff like that, working on our site, techinform.us, with all of the technology that you've seen here today. So if you have any questions or comments or concerns or anything, go ahead and leave that down below. I'll be sure to get back to you. In the meantime, be, for, be sure to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash jamesrschultz. I do have a Google Plus account. I think if you just search for my name, Ryan Schultz, it should uh, show up. I've got to go answer my phone. So uh, you guys subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.